G'day and uh, welcome back with the uh, Eccentric Electrician. Today I'll be reviewing uh, a pen I've already reviewed before. It's the um, Platinum 3776. Um, I'll do a bit of an unboxing so I don't think I did that last time. So you've got your basic white box sleeve, your nice pen coffin which is quite large. Oop, you open it up, you've got all your details and customer service stuff and the pen's here inside this uh, nice little sleeve. Um, I've actually got several of these pens now. Uh, I've got three with um, and thinking about getting some more just because they're such a great pen. So I've got these two here. Um, you've got the, uh, the red and the black and then in my last video I reviewed the um, Chartreuse Blue. Um, these two pens are all three pens are essentially identical, um, but I'll go through with the black one just because I like that one. The reason I've got these two pens is um, I wanted some, basically, I wanted the soft version, soft fine, and um, I bid on both of these pens at the same time and got them for a really good price on eBay, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, a quick rundown, there's nothing on the cap, it's just a round part. Um, gold clip, colored clip quite nice and tight with a little bit of a gold accent ring there. You come down to another accent ring and then um, around the center it's just uh, what is it? made in Japan uh, 3776 platinum. Then you come down to your cigar tapered barrel um, with a little gold uh, highlight there. Screw cap posts quite nicely. Um, you've got a bit of a drop down but that's quite comfortable. The uh, threads here are quite nice as well, they're not too bad. Another gold accent ring, a tapered grip section with a little bit of a flare out. Um, you can unscrew them. Uh, this one I've got a cartridge in it that I was just using. Um, you can't really use this as I, uh, I drop a converters mainly due to the metal ring there. Um, and yeah, all around quite nice pens, I quite like these. I'll get a bit of a close up. So this is the soft fine nib. There we go. So we got 3776 P, 14 karat gold, and I'll see if I can get that down the side there. The SF. There you go, and you can see down the bottom it's got SF, the soft fine. Um, but yeah, really nice pens. You know, I got these for a bargain off eBay um, in an auction. Um, the three main colours, you've got the chartreuse blue, the um, red and the black. Uh, I'll get a bit of a zoom in on the red. It's also translucent, much like the blue is. You can see through and see the nib inside. The way it all puts together. Um, this one, again, I've got a um, the converter in, the proper converter for these. Uh, these two didn't actually come with converters, um, but that didn't bother me. I did have a spare one, and I ended up using the cartridge in the other one anyway. Um, quite nice pens. I quite like the soft binds, and that's the main reason I've got these ones, is just for a, um, a comparison so I could sort of use the soft bind instead. Um, yeah, there's not much more to say about these pens. Like I said, if you want to check out a bit more in-depth, I've got the other... Uh, the other video for the chartreuse blue but uh, I'll do a writing sample cheers so this is a pen review for the platinum 3776 uh, main reason for doing this review is just to show off the soft fine I've got soft fines on both these pens um, I'll give a bit of a quick example of what each one's like when you are uh, right with it I don't have my medium out it's not currently inked um, but these two pens have different ink in them, so I'll just show those as well. Uh, but yeah, nice little pens, these ones. Uh, great value for money. Platinum. 3776 Century. Uh, this is the red. This is the... Uh,
There you go. The uh, this has uh, I think it's Pelican Mandarin with a soft fine nib, and this one has. Uh, Oh, that is a good question. Uh, this is a cartridge, so this is the uh, platinum thirty. Uh, whoop, platinum blue cartridge with a soft fine nib. Now, obviously, comparing these to my medium, uh, these require a lot less pressure to write. As expected from a uh, fine nib, especially being um, platinum, they tend generally do extra fine nibs. So a fine, you know, a fine uh, nib they make would be the equivalent of an extra fine European nib. So you do have to remember that if you bought the fine or, or finer, you need to use less pressure on the page, or it will feel like it's biting into the page. Uh, unfortunately, that's just how fine nibs are, um, but. These ones are quite nice still, if you're nice and gentle on the page. Uh, they don't require much to write. I'm probably a little bit heavy handed myself. Uh, little, these little couple of skips, well, I believe, were me not you know, holding onto the pen properly. Um, but you can see that these are quite fine. Bit of a quick writing sample. Ooh. There you go, upside down writing. Not really, uh, that one doesn't quite work upside down. And this one, works upside down, but it's incredibly sharp and um, toothy on the page, so I wouldn't really recommend it. Flexing, these are soft nibs, so you do have to be careful. You don't want to damage them. So a gentle bit of, uh, persuasion and you will get from a fine up to probably about a, a broad which is quite nice uh, but, uh, with the other one so it's a bit more clear you know, so there's a fairly big difference they're not designed really for flexing again they're just more for a softer nib and if you want to put a little bit of flourish on, you can. And being slightly cheaper, flexible nibs, you know, 80 US dollars for one of these pens, you know, you don't have to be too worried about damaging them. Obviously, it's a bit cheaper to replace. Wetness. A little bit of wetness there. And a little bit of wetness there. Obviously, where they're being flexed, they're still a little bit wet. They will output a bit of uh, ink when you're flexing. So, uh, yeah, quite nice pens, great value for money. Nice fine lines, soft nibs, a bit of line variation. Uh, quite nice to write with. Like I said, you just have to remember not to put too much pressure on them, or they will feel like they're biting into the page. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Bit of a writing sample. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.